Hi, um, my name's Chris Henry and um, the purpose of this video is to um, record basically what has happened in this trial here. It's the 26th of January um, 2014 and this trial um, carries on from work that has been done by others in terms of the eradication of powdery mildew and grape. The variety you have here is um, Montepulciano um, and I came and had a look at it on Friday the 10th of January. We, um, it was overgrown, um, the, the bunch zone uh, was also unleaf plucked and we went through it and there was a fair amount of powdery mildew infection through it. Um, the grower um, uh, tucked it and also leaf plucked it and on the 11th uh, we came here and sprayed it. There are the following treatments in it. This is HML32 by itself. HML32 is a combination of protector and potassium bicarbonate. And then what we have here is HML32 with a boost of 300 grams per 100 litres. boost of 600 grams per 100 litres, this is potassium bicarbonate, and the last one is HML32 at its normal rate, and a boost of 900 grams of potassium bicarbonate per 100 litres. Going the other way, this is HML32 with a boost of copper. The copper was um, co-side and it was uh, not opti, just ordinary co-side at a rate of 90 grams per 100 litres. This here contains HML32, copper at that rate again and a boost of potassium bicarbonate of 300 grams per 100 litres. Like I say, we sprayed on the Saturday and that was on the 11th. And at just slightly after lunchtime, and then we came back um, in the early morning of the 12th, Sunday the 12th, and had a look at all we had done, or all the applications. The applications went on by um, uh, um, a quad with um, 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 a handgun, basically not very much pressure, um, and uh, not drenching it either. So at any rate, um, looking the day after spraying, um, all of the treatments appeared to have efficacy um, in terms of the, the mycelium was knocked down. The best though was actually here, which was um, um, what's the name? Uh, HML32, um, a boost of 300 grams of potassium bicarbonate and copper. That was um, uh, clearly the best, but all of them seemed to have some, some effect. At any rate, then we um, set up then to spray parts of this trial a week later, and we did that on all treatments. So today we're a fortnight um, from the beginning of the trial and one week from the um, um, second application on parts of the trial. Can you just turn it off for a sec? Okay. All right. Um, the reason why um, this particular treatment, which was um, the three components, actually looked better than the others, was that when the powdery mildew was in here, when we um, looking at it, there was um, a boundary between the powdery mildew and the rest of the berry. There was no other residues on the berry. So when we came back the following day, there was, a, there was like a physical effect where the spray that we applied it seemed to be attracted to the mycelium and in, in, say, in this particular case, if you can zoom in on this two weeks ago the mycelium was in these areas and it was quite obvious that and we don't know what the action of it was that the copper and the potassium bicarbon HML32 seemed to be attracted to where the infection was and there was very little um, otherwise in terms of residue on there. So the thinking at that particular time, and it still remains, is that if the mycelium is here, say if you look at this berry, it's covered in infection, the mycelium uh, collapses, and then with those mixture, 
on the berry, it actually collapses and gives a cap over the growth of or over where the powdery mildew infection was. So anyway, um, moving from here, we'll go up to have a look just at the HML32 by itself again and have a look there. good impression of the level of infection that was in here because um, I'm not sure what the video what the video is picking up but clearly um, all that's here is actually munted. Is it picking it up okay? Also, from the point of view of um, powdery mildew too, we were worried about regrowth. And if you look at the rack eye here, you can see that it's white. A week ago when we came in here, we were worried, or I was concerned, that this was actually powdery mildew, or whether it was residue. And in actual fact, it's residue. I doubt whether that is actually going to regrow again. However, tomorrow, today being Sunday, tomorrow, I'm going to plant in food um, in Havelock North and we're placing every treatment here under a microscope and then on Wednesday we're going to Massey University here's another good example and we will be looking under an electron microscope at actually what these residues are and I think they'll be just simply residues and there will be no regrowth coming from the powdery mildew infection that was actually in here Other than that, I don't think there is really much point in actually going through. Um, could it? And um, uh, for those that haven't come through um, the website um, and picked up um, um, information about this video, um, go to www.henrymanufacturing.co.nz and there's information on both HML32 and Protector um, that would be useful to actually understand what's happened here. Thank you.